Hi everyone. So for this process, we'll be needing a blending knife. Also blending paper to blend all your powder pigments together. We'll be needing two different measuring spoons. The first one is a dash measuring spoon to measure all your powder pigments. And the second one is going to be a teaspoon measuring spoon. We'll be needing a 50 ml beaker to blend all your powder pigments and your liquids together. We'll be needing a spade shaped spatula and a stir rod or if you want to call it a stir stick. For today's shade, we'll be using 100% pure mineral pigments. Now we're only going to need these two shades to create our final lippy shade. The first one we'll be using is called Sunstone. This is a very earthy sunburnt um, orange shade. You'll be needing, needing three level dashes of Sunstone. Now you want to level each dash out because once you run out of this lippy shade and you want to recreate it once again, you know exactly how much pigments you put in there so that you can create the same exact shade. The second shade we'll be using is called Amethyst. This is somewhat of a pale purple shade, which is going to go in and neutralize that heavy warmth of the sunstone shade. The end results for these two shades together is going to be a very beautiful, neutral yet mauve and warm shade. Once you have all six uh, dashes of pigments on the paper, you just want to blend, blend, blend until you marry these two colors together. So here's a close-up of the two shades together. As you can tell, once you flatten out the color, you can no longer tell the difference between the two shades. This is when you know you can stop blending. At this point, um, you can transfer all of the powder pigments into the beaker. Now the blending knife is not going to be able to transfer every bit of the powder into the beaker, so you can just rip the blending paper off of the pad, fold the paper in half, and um, pour all of the powder that way. This way you get every bit of powder into your beaker. You're not wasting any products.
Next, we're going to add 0.3 ml of hydrator in there. Um, now, hydrator, this hydrator is going to give it that bit of hydration without giving it that gloss that we don't want. We're also going to put 0.3 ml of ultra soothing botanical complex in there as well. Now, with your lips being a very sensitive part of your face, this will help and soothe out any irritation that anything may cause, although this product won't cause any irritation. Then we're going to add in French Benefit. You're going to put a five full pumps in there. Now just make sure that you're, gonna, you're putting five full pumps and not just half pumps or anything like that. French Benefit acts as a primer. So when you add French Benefit into this um, process, what it's gonna do is help the product glide onto your lips very smoothly. Now you just wanna blend these um, pigments and liquid substance together until it liquefies. Now the very last step to the mixture is going to be the um, signature matte liquid lipstick base. I always add this last um, just because I want to create the shade that I want first. You're going to add about one teaspoon of the matte liquid base. Um, you don't necessarily have to level this out as it's not going to add any kind of pigmentation to the shade. So now you just want to stir and blend the mixture very well, marrying everything together. Now if you look at the shade, um, the liquid lipstick base is actually lightening up the mixture a bit, but that's okay. At this point, if you look at it, it actually is becoming that shade that I was talking about a little bit earlier. A little bit neutral, a little bit of mauve with a bit of warmth to it. And here goes your final results.